the uh, Kinsman Maiden Hurdle is next. This is a three mile two furlong Maiden Hurdle. So one of the longest hurdle races of the season. I think Agnetta's Eagle for Derek. Uh, I want to call him Derek Hinton today. Graham Clutterbuck, Hot Springs Unknown, Vinnie Gerard, the Brighter Darren Thompson, Large Reality, Jim Murray, and James Shane's got the bottom two. Mama Song and Witness Mischief. And call in and away. And. Strange old race this one, three mile two furlong, because if you win this, you're probably going to find yourself in a spot of bother. They get over the first of the 16, because your handicap rules are going to rule you out of all the two mile five furlong handicaps. And you're really only going to run, be able to run in the three mile handicaps. And sometimes there isn't one of those. I don't think you're even going to quite squeeze into a two mile six. I think you might, I can't remember what the rules are. I think it's three furlongs or four furlongs, I can't remember. But anyways. Something on one of my little beefs at the moment is those handicap rules. I can get over the second. I can see why they brought them in all those years ago because people were apparently racing mileage in two mile races to get lower handicaps and then winning the big races because it was all about money in those days. Not real money, of course. But anyway, don't think it needs to be quite so strict these days because quite a lot of horses, these, especially in SO7, seem to be far more versatile with distance. Especially the longer distance ones, and I think you really should be capped once you get to the top, so you can still go somewhere. Some of those four mile chases have really got absolutely nowhere to go some weeks if they're declared a four miler and they can't get into the three and a half mile races or three mile five races. A lot of horses that would have been in the Welsh National later that couldn't get in it because of the handicap of the distance part of the handicap. And anyway, back to this race over to third. So, if you win this, you better hope you're a group horse, really. And the Brater is in the lead. This one, I haven't got one in it. Let's get to the fourth. And the Brater's over in front from Hot Springs Unknown second. Magnetis Eagle is third, and then Large Reality fourth. And there's Witness Mischief and Mama Sarah at the back, but they're the two James Shea horses. And I don't think his jumpers have quite got the blistering turn of foot that his flat team have got, but they're probably still got a bit of it. And um, I shouldn't be too concerned about them being at the back if you're on them. It's the Labrator who's leading them over the next. I've got the course with the electric fence. Is it to stop people getting in or is it to stop people getting out? That's the question. It's Labrator in the lead then from Large Reality second as they get over the sixth. Agnetta's Eagle is in third. And Hot Springs unknown. Finally, Witness Mischief and Mama Song at the back. So two miles left to go. And Labrator is in the lead. Oh, large reality. Agnetta's Eagle. And then Hot Springs Unknown, Mama Song and White Mischief. So the order not really changing that much. The two James Shane horses getting a bit closer to Vinnie Gerard's Hot Springs Unknown as they get over the seventh. And they're all safely over the seventh. Heading towards the eighth, unsurprisingly. We've got a Brita clear. All over that one, well. The lead is probably about five lengths now to Agnetta's Eagle in second. The Abba fan, of course, Grand Clutchbook. Well, presumably, why that one's called Agnetta's Eagle. Where the Eagle bit came from, probably came from one of the parents of the horse, I suppose. Large Reality is third. As they get over the ninth. Mama Song is making a bit of ground on the outside for James Shea as they come up past the big screen, which is a little bit blown a little bit off of course, doesn't it? I see slightly the wrong direction, I would have thought. And head out for a complete circuit of the track. Perhaps it's been a bit windy here today. It's Labrator in the lead. Cotton where we are to be honest, Hereford or Worcester, one of those two, some place with the electric fence that we had earlier this season anyway. It's Labrator in front, and Large Reality in second. Witness Mischief is in third, and Agnetta's Eagle has just dropped back a little bit with Hot Springs Unknown and Mama Song. Those three are virtually in a line as they take flight 10. And flight 11, a good jump by the leader. Extended the lead again. Agnetta's Eagles now dropped right to the back. And as Witness Mischief and Large Reality chase the leader, 
and then Barita, who's had it all her own way so far in front. Uh, large reality second. With this mischief is third, then a gap of about three or four lengths to Mama So and Hot Springs Unknown, and another two back to Agnetta's Eagle as they get up past the electric fence again. Labrator over the 12th in the lead, didn't jump that quite as quickly as the two behind. They do seem to be poised to throw down a challenge any minute now, especially with this mischief, and all the Mama Song is now running on nicely in fourth. Hot Springs on there and Agnetta's Eagle also starting to get a bit closer so they're beginning to sort of bunch a little more now and the race will be on in earnest shortly and Labrata is being scrubbed along in the lead with three flights to get over with large reality second, Mama Song third, Witness Mischief now back in fourth. Then comes Hot Springs Unknown, Agnetta's Eagle on the outside as they head down towards the third last flight. And it's going to be La Brita who jumped it really well. Got away from it well as well. A really good jump has now gone full clear again from large reality, Mama Song. And then Witness Mischief, Hot Springs Unknown, Agnetta's Eagle not really picking up as they come down towards the second last. And the leader ran right into it that time and a good jump at the flight before. And com all completely undone by that Mistake as Witness Mischief now comes down to challenge. They've got one more to get over. And it's Labrita in the lead from Witness Mischief who looks to be going the better. Mama's song is in third. Labrita had the stuffing knocked out of her with that mistake and now looks beaten. Witness Mischief goes on. Mama Song goes in the second. Here comes Hot Springs Unknown on the outside. It's going to, going to be a short running after this flight. And over it they go. And it's Witness Mischief and Mama Song. Mama Song on the near side is starting to get up and it's going to be close. Witness Mischief is trying to fight back, but Mama Song's going to take it. Mama Song takes it. Close for second, may have been Hot Springs on none ahead of Witness Mystery, then Labrata. And Agnetta's Eagle and Large Reality at the back. And to be honest, it always looked like one of those James Shea horses was going to get up and take it. and just wasn't sure which one, but it was Mama Song. Or James Shea, Hot Springs Unknown was second for Vinnie Gerard. Witness Mischief, James Shea again third. Agnetta's Eagle for. Graham Clutterbuck ran on well to be fourth, and Labrata, the long-time leader, really had the stuffing knocked out of all that last flight. Well, Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs> 